Hey everybody, it's Plutoed, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. Now, I can see a few icons on the map for some Pokemon I might want. So, let's see if we can find them. Since there's an outbreak in this area for a few things. Kind of want the Combi, wherever that is. It seems to keep moving. Oh, there's a Pokemon there. That's fine. Let's burn it. And be super effective. Okay, let's see now. There's a Diglet. It's not really what I'm after, but that's okay. There's also a thing down there for fire. How's my Pokemon going? I need to probably switch in Surskit then. If this is a fire type one. Although this is bug water, isn't it? So that's gonna be interesting. How does this work when you have two types, but one of them is resistant to the one and one's effective against? I don't know, let's find out. It's bright. So bright and burning. That's actually really cool. A squirrel with a can candelabra on top. <sighs> Just look at him. It's great. Anyway, water gun. I don't know how to cheer, but I don't know if that's what I need to do. That did nothing? Why did that do nothing? No, it's doing stuff, right? I think. It became confused. Yeah, it does do something, but why did it... I don't know. The first round, it didn't display any damage, so I don't know. We're doing plenty of uh, plenty of damage, so this, we, this, we, we should be good. Just gonna keep going. Again, I love the the Pokemon face in the background. Squirt fainted. It was, uh, okay. So I guess that's why it wasn't displaying that then. I'll catch it. Let's go Pokeball. It didn't, it, uh, it's fine. And catch. Very nice. A, a fire terror type squavit. I don't know when these are going to be extremely helpful, but they're things that I'm collecting, I guess, so. Although I only have eight boxes to store Pokemon in, so I need to be careful. I guess. I have no idea how that's going to work out later on. It's kind of weird that there are uh, only so many boxes, because that's kind of encouraging kids to say goodbye to Pokemon eventually. It's not, that's not really how you would think this would be. But it is, so... I guess. Do you have one? You've got a Terra Orb, right? That's so cool. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Youngster, A-Day. A-Day? A-Day. I don't know. Sent out Scatterbug. Let's do Water Gun. String Shot that's going to lower my speed. I think speed is what determines who goes first in a battle. Every two turns that is because every, every turn is basically a turn for you and a turn for them. But who, who goes first during that turn depends on the speed, I think. So sparkly, I got distracted. I didn't even use the thing, okay. Guess that's the thing. I was gonna send you out. 
See if you can fight some stuff. I just need to be doing that more, I think, because I haven't been doing it that much. I'm gonna grab that. I don't think there's anything else over here, so let's head up now. Actually, no, there is a thing here. Agility. Take that with me. There's also this area down here that I didn't go into before. I don't know how I keep missing grabbing things. I need to just keep mashing the A button. There we go. Mash to pick up. Because whenever you're near it, you don't... You're not actually near enough to it, so... I can't jump up this slope. It's a real shame. Go, Pokemon! Did you go back? I think you went back. Okay. It's fine. Oh, I can zoom in. <laughs> zoom. Zoom. Could just watch you fight those, maybe. Or not. Guess you don't have to. Fight them. There we go. Because I can run away from the- like, I can walk away while they're doing it, but I kind of need to actually just watch to make sure that they keep doing it. It's gonna make leveling up quicker as well. And I could also use the XP candies because I haven't been using them so far. It's probably a good idea to, to use them. I still don't know if this is the team I want to keep with me. It's probably gonna- my team's probably gonna change a lot the further into this we go. But anyway. Let's keep moving for a second, for a bit. Keep picking up everything I find. I was trying to catch some other Pokemon, wasn't I? They're not here anymore. Okay. That's just how it goes. There's another thing there. I was going to grab that Soda Pop. But I kind of want to go check this Terror Raid battle out. I can get there safely. Heal powder, very pitiful uh, thing. I think we've seen it in the shop already. Well, hello, Cricketot. I'll catch you. Seem a bit smaller, to be honest. Water gun. Struggle bug. Special attack fell. Okay, that's fine. Very nice. Now to throw a Pokeball. I need to probably buy some more Pokeballs. And like we learned in the school, we can get an extra one for every 10 we buy, basically. So that's cool. Cricket Tot Shell. From the Cricketot, Cricketot bug Pokemon. Send to the boxes. I wonder how my box is actually going right now. Because I've caught a decent amount of Pokemon. So I'm probably not going to have a ton of space left. Stored power. Cool. Well, I guess we'll take out, take a look at this Terror Raid battle. No, it's not a Terror Raid battle. What is this? It's a special thing that I can't do anything with, I think. It's something in the ground that I have to actually, I can't do anything with. Hang on, what if I set my, send my Pokemon out? Will you do something? Oh, it's a Diglett? Maybe? Oh, there it is. Hang on. Hang on. Maybe? Maybe if I touch it? There we go. I think it's a Terra Pokemon, anyway. Yeah. What type is that? Rock? I think? 
How to catch wild terror Pokemon. You cannot catch a Pokemon while it's terrestrialized. You'll need to reduce its HP to break through its transformation first. Only then can you try to catch it. Interesting. Very interesting. But I think this is super effective against it. And it's level 17, so that's pretty strong for a, a wild Pokemon. That's not good. So let's get fainted. Now let's go to the next Pokemon. Rock or ground? I don't know. Absorb. After it uses Astonish. Okay, thank you. I think we've got a good balance here now. Just need to wait. The 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 fights feel longer the more the further into the game you seem to, to, into the game it seems. Because at first they seemed pretty quick, but now it seems like they're a lot longer. For some reason. I think it's just the perspective. Did you just make it rain, or was that always happening? I don't know. Is it still not gonna... Okay. Fairy Wind? I haven't broken through yet. But I don't want to... Take it out. Oh my goodness. Fairy wind. Is that good? Okay, that's good. Oh my goodness. Okay. Pokeball. And there we go. Diglett was caught. Obtained 2,000 LP. Ground type? Type? Let me check the summary. Because its stereotype is rock. Okay. Cool. So I'll send that to the boxes then. I did see a combi flying around. But I might have missed it. Might have missed my opportunity. That's okay. Let me check the boxes. Because I'm, I'm probably filling them up fairly qu quickly. We're still on the box one, but still, that's... It's gonna go by very quickly. Very quickly, since there's only eight boxes. Are you a trainer? I think so. Welcome! To your worst nightmare. Can I interest you in one of our daily... In a daily battle special? Our regulars say it's electrifying. Okay. Alba the Waitress. Sent out Pichu. Uh, I can probably work with this. Probably. Confusion. Pichu is play nice. Rolt attack fell. And we're done here. That works. That's it. I'm closing up shop. Getting more money now, which is nice. Feels like we haven't been getting that much money in some of the battles that we've done. But that's a decent amount, so... Is that a Pokemon? I think that's... Yeah, it's one of those. Give me the coin. Adamant Mint. Ah, uh, okay. What does that mean? Ah, uh, Adamant Mint. Ah, uh, there it is. Having a Pokemon smell this mint can make its attack stat grow stronger. However, its special attack may suffer. Interesting. Also, there's a whole bunch of other stuff here. How much can you use these items? I don't know. Also, we have a charcoal, which I should probably just uh, give this item to a Pokemon. Let's give it to you. Okay. Soothing Bell. Does anyone else want to give stuff to? I'm not sure. 
it's probably worth using some of these XP things, but I haven't felt underleveled so far, so I'll just hold off for the moment and then overlevel myself later on. Right before the end of the game, conveniently. Probably. Well, that's going to depend on what Pokemon I'm fighting as well. I think I'm just going to go to the Pokemon Center and register it so I can come back here quickly. There's actually two Pokemon Centers here, which is interesting. But there's also a gym. Oh, happy day. I bought some delicious cake from p p patisserie. Soap, soap berry. Let's celebrate with a battle. Okay. David, the office worker. Set out fa sent out Fampy. I have no idea what type that is. It's not exactly a new Pokemon, but I, I still don't know what type set it is. Critical hit. Just going to keep using Confusion because that seems to be my best move. We should be just about done, probably. I can't see how many Pokemon left because it, that's not always on screen. Cool, we did it. This cake makes me so happy, I don't even mind losing. Also, some Pokemon evolve from special things, not just... They don't just evolve from leveling up for some Pokemon. Sometimes it's being at a special place, I think, when they level up. Or using a specific item on them. And some of them is also just for, done by trading as well, so... Been having some nice battles. So far you've defeated seven trainers here in Area 2 of the South Province. On behalf of the Pokemon League, here's your lovely prize. Get Aerial Ace. Cool, thank you. TM Machine has been upgraded. That's cool. Let's heal our Pokemon and register this Pokemon Center then. And now we're good to go again. With whatever whatever else we want to do. So what do I want to do now? I could try and challenge the gym. See how that goes for me. Cortondo. Another town. Seems like there's a, some more shops to visit. For food. There's also an item back here. Let me grab that. X attack. Jump. Why, why am I stuck? I entered the cutscene. I'm on the other side of the wall. Cool. That's... Cool. I'm glad you showed me a cutscene and had forced me to get off Coridon for that. The gym leader here in Cortondo Cro is battling... is the battling baker herself, Katie. Don't let her sweet looks fool you into letting down your guard. Can you do... do yeah. You've come to Cortondo, right? In the middle of the... of our Olive Harvest Festival. The gym test here serves as part of the festival too. Okay. Now, I don't remember what the gym type is for this. Looks like it's a uh, bug type. Interesting. Whilst we have both of these Poke Centers here registered, apparently. That's a lot of stuff. Whilst that creature's right there. Didn't realize that. Maybe I did and just didn't think about it that much. Uh, but anyway, so I should probably switch in my starter Pokemon, since it's fire type, and it's got charcoal, so that's going to make it even better. So let's try this out. We're decently leveled, but I'm not sure how well this is going to go, so I don't know what level there are in here. Hello. Oh, hey, Jeremy. Came to see this gym, huh? That can only mean one thing. 
You're out to earn some gym, ba gym badges and take out on the Pokemon League, aren't you? Yep. Yes, I knew it. I'm so glad I asked you to do it. Before you can battle the gym leader, you've got to pass a certain challenge by set by them. Their gym test. Every gym's test is different. If you ask the lobby staff about it, they'll tell you what's up. Here, have these. When you use them, consider it me healing up your Pokemon. Three super, super potions. Very nice. Ah, I'm so glad you're aiming to be the champ a champion too. Take, uh, this is the best news ever. Man, I'm so excited I can barely stand still. Guess I'll go battle every trainer I run into. Okay. Do I need to talk to you? Welcome to the Korton Tondo Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Jeremy, yes? That's right. Great, now, in order to face gym leader Katie, uh, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at Cortondo Gym, that means taking on the olive roll. Olive production is a big part of life in Cortondo. We've held the Olive Harvest Festival here each year for generations to usher in bumper crops. To pass our gym test, you'll need to roll in olive-shaped bowl all the way to the goal. Your efforts should help ensure we get a great olive harvest next year too. The staffer over at the olive rolling field will explain the rules to you in further detail. I'll register the location in your map app. It's just to the north of town. Now get out there and have fun. I don't know what this is about. But okay. Oh wow. Those look cool. Have to take part in the olive roll. Whatever that means. Okay, so where am I going? Uh, over there. Interesting. Looks, looks like there's an up, upper area over here as well I want to quickly look at. Reminds me of Rito Village. Oh, it's just a, a Pokemon battle area. That's cool. Shame I'm not using it. There's one there as well. There's so many places to battle, apparently. So many. Is that what I'm rolling? I don't think so, but may maybe? No. The other thing over there is what we're rolling, I think. Or something. Is this just... No, this is not... Okay, let's try. Welcome to the Olive Rolling Field. This gym test is all about stamina. You need to push with all you've got to get a large olive. Bowl rolling and make it all the way to the end. Get the bowl over various obstacles, then push it into the goal to clear the course. Now that you, you're all filled in, are you ready to start the gym test? I guess so. Great! Put in a wish for a, uh, a good olive harvest, and roll, roll, roll away. Okay. What is this madness? Do I use Coridon? Or do I just roll? Three, two, one. I don't know what I'm doing. Also, yes, I can. And it goes crazy if I do. Huh, 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 huh. Kick it. Kick it. That works, I guess. Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? I think this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't understand, but it's happening. Oh, there it goes. Calm down. Give, give me a second. Oh, hang hang on. No. Ah. Uh, eh. Oh, sorry, are you, are you a challenger? The goal's just passed here. Cool. And in. Close enough. I passed, I guess.
Cool. So what now? With that performance, I'm sure we can look forward to a great olive harvest next year. I'm happy to declare your gym test officially cleared. Congratulations. Please report your results. Results of the lobby staff are at the gym. Good luck in your battle against Katie. Okay. That was something. Also, Jigglypuff. I can catch a Jigglypuff. Uh, let's use something, I guess. I don't know. Ember. Okay, yeah, that was a good move. Ember again. That should be good enough. Disable? That will stop me from using a move for a, the, m the most recent move I used for a bit. So, good thing I don't need it for the moment. It also is fine after the battle as well, so... The next battle I go into, I can still use it, I'm pretty sure. Unless things have changed in the past generations. Very nice. Very nice. We're doing it. Normal fairy Pokemon. Well, I want to go take a look at the gym now, so... Let me please stop. I keep opening up the map because I think that's the button to bring out Coridon. Eevee! 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 Hang on. This is more important. Very delicate Eevee. Let's use Tackle. Okay. Sun attack. That lowers accuracy. Tackle again. Please don't kill it. Wild Eevee avoided the attack. Send attack again. Tackle. There we go. It's ball time. It's ball time. And got it. Cool, we have an Eevee now. Eevee is a Pokemon that can evolve into many different types. But you have to have the items for it. And it doesn't evolve into every type, but it evolves into a, quite a few, so... A decent handful. More than six, I'm pretty sure. It starts out as normal and, yeah, goes from there. Definitely a good one to grab, so. But anyway, let's go to the gym now. Since we still can. What type of shop is that? Oh, it's a sandwich shop. Okay, well, I don't need to worry about that. So many places. Flabebe. Do you have the Pokemon Flabebe? They can carry different colored flowers, right? Could you trade me a Flabebe for my Snom? Any color of flower is fine by me. Well, I don't have one, but I'll keep that in mind because that means we can get uh, the Pokemon he's trading by trading a Flabebe for that. So, and I want that, so. That's why you talk to the NPCs, basically. And that's what I've been waiting for, is something like that. Anyway. Welcome back, Jeremy. I hear you were on a roll out there. It was certainly something. A big congratulations from me for successfully clearing the gym test. You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Are you ready to ch challenge gym le leader, leader Katie? The sugar bug? Yes, I am. Very well. Allow me to show you to the battle court. Here we go, our first gym battle. And that's why this area up here exists. 
Eat up my little viv viv vivillion. Viv viv vivillon. Close enough. Vivalu vivil 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 ah, I can't say any I can't read anything apparently. It's fine. Oh, what a lovely trainer you are. Thank you very much for your skillful olive rolling. It was quite impressive. Oh, you saw that, did you? Oh, did I forget to introduce myself? Forgive me. My name is Katie, and I am the owner here at Patisserie Soapberry. Oh, that's right. I'm not in my shop. I'm on duty as a gym leader of the Cortondo Gym right now. Forgive me. Ahem. My name is Katie, and I am the gym leader here at Cortondo. My main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. Little sweets that bring happiness with one, just one bite. Bug type Pokemon hiding in foliage. Both are small and yet very powerful. Don't let your guard down unless you would like to find yourself knocked off your feet. It seems like an interesting combination of things. You... You cook things, but you also ha have bug-type Pokemon. Here we go. Nimble. Crocalo. Don't take my bug-type po Pokemon lightly. You'll be in for a world of pain if you do. Well, let's, uh... Just use Ember. I don't know what type it has. It's not weak to fire right now, so... No, it is. What? Why are you lying to me, game? It didn't say the super effective, though. Maybe it depends on if I've seen the Pokemon or not. And know what stuff is effective. Um, let's keep current Pokemon for now. I didn't see what was being sent out, but it's fine. We should be good. Just keep destroying everything. There's quite a few Pokemon we have to take out in this, so... But so far, so good. I love being overleveled. To do... Uh, Teddy Ursa. Uh, uh, I don't know. Teddy Ursa. Um, I think we're good to say like this for now. Oh, you're quite good, aren't you? How should I roll things out from here? Teddy Ursa. Just gonna keep going. Now, my little Pokemon, time to break free from your cocoon and come into your own. Crystallizings? Of course, bug type. That makes sense. That's why I was so confused. Because like, I don't think it's a bug type Pokemon, but because you can terrestrialize it like that, it becomes bug type. Which is good for me, thank you. And that makes this a lot easier. Also, what is with the the, the audience singing? That's really cool. But anyway, this is done. We did it. All of my sweet little Pokemon dropped like flies. Your strength throws during our battle like a nice bread in the oven. I feel that I may need to work on my own strength as well. Congratulations, you passed. As proof of, proof of your victory against me, the gym leader, allow me to present you with this gym badge. I hope you enjoy it alongside a heaping serving of some of my deluxe handmade treats. Cortondo Gym defeated, Victory Road. As part of Victory Road, that's the quest line. With one gym badge in your possession, Pokemon up to level 25 will be easier to catch and will listen to your commands as well. Because previously, if we got to that level or higher, 
Pokemon would be a lot less ob obedient, basically, and harder to catch. But we haven't had this problem, so we're, we're all good. I see you have quite the appetite as well. How about a little TM as the frosting on this cake? TM21, pounce. Once you found a TM during your travels, you can use them use a TM machine to make copies of that TM. Did you did you you did know that, right? That's cool. It means we won't just run out eventually because there's only so many of a, a single one. I wish you luck at luck in your future adventures. May they be as sweet and lovely as a good dessert. Off you go then, until we meet again. And there we go, that's our first gym. But that should be it for now. Hey hey Jeremy! Just had to tell you, my Pokemon are le learning some pretty cool new moves. Be ready. How'd it go at the gym, by the way? I passed. Yes! Haha! -ha. I mean, it was obvious you were gonna pass, but congrats! I'm so glad I encouraged you to take on the gyms. Nice job, pass me. I'm training hard too, by the way. Day and night, going all over the place to boot. Thank goodness we've got the map app. It helps a ton with figuring out where to go next. Especially in hu a huge place like Paldia. Oh, it really is huge. After all, the path is getting stronger. Path of getting stronger usually has some strange stops and detours. Hmm, speaking of going strange places, I wonder what Arvin's up to. Anyway, catch you later. I hope you know I'm gonna want to battle a battle if we run into each other. Cool. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.